Tickfinity's voice mod integration lets your viewers send follows, gifts, subs and likes to change your voice. Here's an example of one of the voices available and let's look at how to set it up. Luckily for you, I'm not going to subject you to that voice for the rest of the video. Let's quickly look at the requirements. And of course, you need Tickfinity, but you need the desktop app for this. You also need voice mod. And of course, I'll link both of those in the description. And this is for PC or Mac streamers. So you need either access to Live Studio, Stream Key or Streamlabs. And I'll put links in the description to get access to all three of those. And this is actually ridiculously simple. So what you want to start by doing is just obviously run through the installer on voice mod and get it open. And the main thing here on voice mod is that clean is your normal voice. And of course, if you want to change the voice, you choose one of the other options. Now, how do we get the viewers to choose that? Well, of course, we use Tickfinity. If you've not used Tickfinity before, make sure you type your username in on the setup page. Click on TikTok login. Make sure you're logged into TikTok. Let's head on the actions and events page now. And this is where your viewers will control your voice. If I click on create new action, we can check that it's quickly working by clicking on set voice mod voice. If I click on select voice, as long as you have a list showing here, it means the connection between Tickfinity and voice mod is successfully established. Now, before we fully set this up, there's a very important microphone change required. So I'll do this in live studio, but this is the same in both Streamlabs and OBS. We're just finding the microphone setting. So here in live studio, it's the audio mixer. And what we want to do is change the microphone to the voice mod one. So underneath the microphone drop down list, we're going to change it to the voice mod virtual audio device. Once we've done that, we can press save and we'll head back into voice mod. We'll click onto settings and you'll just make sure that your normal microphone is selected and you've got the correct headphones or speakers selected too. Quickly click into general. If you don't want it launching on startup, then uncheck it like I did. You also might not want the voice mod microphone as your default, so uncheck that if you want as well. Now, if you want to hear what these different voices sounds like, you can just click on each one. And then if you untoggle this where it says hear myself, you'll hear what it sounds like. Once you've chosen one that you want the viewers to activate, let's head back into Tickfinity and we are creating a new action. I'll just do the banana voice that you saw at the start. So let's turn it on for five seconds after receiving a sunglasses gift. Of course, we can easily trigger this off follows, subs and likes as well and chat commands if you want. Anyway, we'll just focus purely on voice mod here. I'll put a larger Tickfinity guide in the description. So make sure you've checked set voice mod voice. Of course, I'm just going to find the correct voice and I'll just toggle it down to five seconds. You can press test to test it at this stage. Now, display duration is only really relevant if you've checked something else, but let's just to avoid confusion, set that to five seconds as well. And I'll repeat this with gift combos in case I get sent multiple of the same gift. And then we'll press save because all of the other default options should be fine there. We need to create a new event now. So click create new event. You can pick any of these from the list. Usually everyone can trigger it. For me, I'm sending a specific gift and you can either just type in the gift name or choose it from a drop down list. Underneath trigger all of these actions, for me, it's the five second banana voice. For me, I'm not randomizing anything. You might want to do that. You could create multiple actions with different voices, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to press save. And if that's all you've done, you don't actually need to add screen one to Live Studio, OBS or Streamlabs. In terms of testing, usually we'd use the event simulator, then look at the screen to see what's happening. Of course, this is for audio, but I do have a workaround to test it. So for me, I'm simulating a sunglasses gift. So I'm just going to once again, select the gift from the list. And then before I press simulate gift, or if you're simulating something else, one of the other buttons, before I do that, I'll head back into Live Studio or OBS or Streamlabs. And I'm just going to turn the recording on. It's going to count down and then start recording. Now, as long as you've added the correct mic, if I head back into Tickfinity and if I now simulate the gift, if I just speak for a few seconds, hello, my name is Harry. I'm just wasting time here. The five seconds is just about up here. If I go back and I just stop the recording, we can then play it back to confirm that it's worked. Of course, voice mod is just one tiny part of Tickfinity. You can check my full Tickfinity guide on screen now.